Hey there, fellow investors. This is the Dividend Uncle, and today's video is a reality check. I've often shared my optimism about the swift recovery of tourism in Singapore, especially the return of Chinese tourists, and its potential impact on hospitality riots. This investment thesis drives my optimism and over-allocation to CDL Hospitality Trust and Far East Hospitality Trust. However, persistent data has forced me to reevaluate. Let's delve into the unexpected turn of events and explore what it means for our investment strategies. Reality Check, Chinese Tourist Slowdown In a twist of events, the surge of Chinese tourists in Singapore, anticipated for post-COVID recovery, has faced an unexpected setback. Recent data on Singapore's international visitor arrivals reveals a decline for the fourth consecutive month, painting a different picture than initially projected. Factors contributing to this unanticipated downturn include seasonal trends, persistently high airfares, and a slower-than-expected recovery in China outbound travel. At the heart of this slowdown in China tourists is a noticeable shift in the travel habits of Chinese tourists. During the 1st of October Golden Week holidays, despite the lifting of travel restrictions, the number of Chinese travelers going overseas has not returned to pre-pandemic levels. Even with promotions and discounts targeted at Chinese consumers, airports are not witnessing the expected surge in Chinese tourists. There are several factors contributing to this. Let's explore each in turn. Firstly, the Chinese economy has not recovered as strongly as expected after the relaxation of COVID restrictions. The jobs market in China has not been doing well. In fact, the youth unemployment rate in China was at an alarming 21.3% as of June 2023. Furthermore, there is the extreme stress in the Chinese real estate sector currently. As many Chinese have exposure to the real estate market, many would-be tourists probably feel less rich than before. Imagine your housing investment falling by 20-30%. to You probably wouldn't be thinking about traveling. Secondly, an appreciating Singapore dollar, which makes it more expensive for Chinese tourists to spend in Singapore. As you can see, the Chinese RMB has depreciated 13% over the past two years which is quite significant. To understand this effect, just look around you, many of your friends or colleagues are traveling to Japan during the year-end holidays right? Other than Japan being an attractive tourist destination, the depreciation in the Japanese yen which makes everything cheaper, is a big factor. Now imagine this effect in reverse, for the Chinese tourists, one word, expensive. Thirdly, the overall travel costs has surged after the relaxation of COVID restrictions due to still limited flight capacity, and shortage of hospitality staff, etc. Finally, something quite interesting in my views, and shows the power of the media. It was reported that many Chinese were concerned about scams in Southeast Asia, arising from a highly popular movie called No More Bets, which was about a computer programmer who ends up in a violent scamming compound in Southeast Asia after being kidnapped and trafficked. Fear of safety may have reduced travel decisions to the region. As many tours would package Singapore with regional countries like Thailand, this has impact on us, despite Singapore being one of the safest places in the world. All these have contributed to a decline in group tours by a significant 80% compared to pre-pandemic days. Reassessment of my positive views. This unexpected scenario challenges my initial views and prompts a reassessment of the impact on my holdings in CDL Hospitality Trust and Far East Hospitality Trust, the two Singapore-focused hospitality rights that I have an over-allocation to in my REITs portfolio. The dividend uncle currently holds $20,513 in CDL Hospitality Trust, and $9,263 in Far East Hospitality Trust. I also own $22,071 in Capital Land Ascot Trust, although Ascot has a much lower exposure to Singapore. So all in all, my total exposure to the hospitality sector is quite substantial, at $51,847. The question now becomes, how will this altered landscape influence my investment strategy moving forward? The Dividend Uncle's Take As we've seen, the anticipation of a speedy return of Chinese tourists might have been a bit too optimistic. Here are my key considerations that are reshaping my investment strategy going forward. 1. Diverse tourist inflow will continue to drive Singapore's recovery. Interestingly, while the return of Chinese tourists has been slower than expected, other countries' tourists have somewhat filled the gap. But let's be real, the sheer volume of Chinese tourists is unmatched. 
Despite this, the gradual recovery has allowed hotels to manage services more sustainably, especially considering the earlier labor shortages post-COVID measures. 2. Resilience of Hospitality Riots Now, let's talk numbers. Even without the swift return of Chinese tourists, hospitality riots have been thriving. Look at Far East Hospitality Trust, its net and distributable income surged by nearly 40% for the year to date to Q3 2023. CDL Hospitality Trust is not far behind, with a 23% growth in net property income for the same period. These growth figures are impressive, especially when compared to many other sectors. 3. Faith in Specific Riots Amidst the adjustments, my faith in CDL Hospitality Trust and Far East Hospitality Trust remains unwavering. Their current dividend yields, hovering around 6%, are still quite reasonable. Moreover, given the potential for further growth in the recovering hotel sector, these trusts seem to have legs to run. Adjusting the sales and the new wins. After considering all that has happened, my view is that the hospitality ship isn't sinking, but it's time to adjust the sales. So what will I do for the overallocation? Given that I am still positive about the outlook of hospitality sector, I will not sell my existing investments. However, I intend to shift my investment strategy for the hospitality riots. With the looming prospect of declining interest rates in 2024, positive sentiments should be on the horizon for most riot sectors. Since I have an overallocation to the hospitality riots, I intend to focus my investments to retail and logistics sectors. I won't delve into specific picks in this video, as I have discussed the individual REITs that I am most optimistic about in details in my previous video. The link to these videos have been provided in the description. Watch them, they are really good. Winky face. Conclusion. So, investors, as we check out of this profit-packed adventure, remember, the Hotel of Investments has many different rooms you can explore. CDL Hospitality Trust, Far East Hospitality Trust and Capital and Ascot Trust have been excellent hosts, and there are more opportunities awaiting. Until next time, may your dividends be abundant, and your investments, a five-star experience.